The unique head is one of the most important characteristics to be evaluated in this breed. It is large in comparison to the overall size of the dog. It has a plush, chubby look, although a degree of refinement keeps it from appearing coarse. The skull is high, well-domed, and curves as far out over the eyes as possible, forming a well-rounded forehead and top skull. The muzzle is very short. The nose, ideally tipped back, forms a deep, well-defined stop. The stop should be deep enough to enable just the tip of a little finger to fit into its hollow. The short muzzle is well cushioned under the eyes, forming a perfect wide, soft curve, with lips just touching to give a finished appearance. From the front, the jaw is square, broad, and deep. The lips meet evenly. The nose is large, with large, wide-open nostrils, and is jet black in all coat colors. This poor head lacks the characteristic domed skull, which is a necessary aspect of the toy spaniel's head. And here, the jaw is weak, without broad, wide cushions. The muzzle is narrow and pinched. This dog's head is correct, with a high domed skull, very short muzzle, and well-defined stop. Note again the cushioning under the eyes, and the broad, deep turned up jaw. The bite is slightly undershot, Teeth should not show when the mouth is closed. In checking the bite, it is not necessary to pry open the jaws. Running the finger along the jawline or gently lifting the upper lip should be sufficient to determine the correct bite. An overshot bite, wry mouth, or tongue showing while the mouth is closed are all faults that should be penalized. Note, too, that a hanging tongue is extremely objectionable. Eyes are large, round, lustrous, and very dark brown or black. They are set wide apart, squarely on line with the nose, with little or no white showing. The eyes never appear bulging or goggled. The expression must be soft, appealing, and intelligent and is enhanced by black eye rims. The amount of white showing in these eyes is excessive. These eyes are correct, large, and very dark in color. Ears are very long and set low, close to the head, and covered with heavy feathering. This is a lovely head overall. You can see how all the elements combine to create the typical soft, appealing expression, indicating an intelligent nature.